Hi everybody, I hope you had a great week. I just wanted to show you this cute little palette organizer that I picked up from Amazon and it looks like it holds five palettes here and it fits perfectly in the top of this Cine Cosmetics Alex Beauty box. Jumping right in to shop my stash from last week, let's just check out this bottom drawer here. And this is where I was keeping my primers, foundations, concealers, and I moved a couple of the Huda Beauty and Too Faced liquid eyeshadows into here. And you'll see the Peach Perfect powder. So I'm going to take out this Stellar Beauty primer. And it was really awesome. It gave a great glow and I look forward to use it again one day. I had this Too Faced concealer in for two rotations and it provides great coverage and it might just be my favorite concealer. This Naked Skin I'm still working on. It's a color corrector and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water I'm also still working on. This is the Pore Filling Primer Professional Pearl and that's from Benefit and I'm keeping that in from last week. And here's the two Huda Beauty liquid eyeshadows here and they were in the shades Minted and De Niro and Wednesday and Frigo. And they're very pretty and you can see there are greens and pinks and they have a shimmer on one side and a matte on the other and they blend super easily so they were really nice and I'll try them again another day. So this was kind of an unexpected um, find for the week so I did not realize that this shifts green so I don't know if you can see that in the camera but wow I was kind of surprised <laughs> at that but um, it's really fun and oh I think you can see the green shift right there. It's a nice sparkly shade and it was great and I'm going to put it back in my collection. So I have kept these Too Faced Born This Way foundations in and um, used them the last couple of weeks so I'll put them back in my collection. It's a nice foundation and I'll use it again another day. So we have this Peach Perfect Powder and it's so awesome I'm just going to keep it in again. And this is Blossom Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I'm going to keep that in another rotation also. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the second drawer here. All of these highlighters are going to go back and also the blushes and the Huda Beauty palettes. So they were a real joy to use. I love the Huda Beauty formula. So I used a, a nice combination of these palettes more so than I did any kind of standalone. And we'll put them right back in the collection. This is just a primer continuation. I'm continuing to make progress on that. This Fenty Bronzer into Sun. It's really lovely and um, you know it's finely milled. Blends out very well. No trouble with that. This is the Diffuse Light Hourglass Powder, and I'm going to put that back in my collection. It's a good finishing powder. Now, these were the most blinding highlights for the week. So, I was really glowing, and it was very sparkly. And, um, you know, I would caution you, especially on this one called Diamond Wet, there is a lot of glitter particles in there. And for this snowflake from Anastasia, you have to make sure that you buff it in really well. And I only used this one one time. It was okay, but, um, you know, I did have to mix it in a little bit because it's more of like a gold color. So I mixed that and, and Diamond Wet and made that work. So these were the three blushes that I used this week. This was Too Faced Papaya Pop. Beautiful. Loved it. This one is more of a purpley blush and that's pomegranate and it was nice. It didn't give me the purple bruise effect that I was kind of thinking it might. And like my lemons was my favorite blush this week. So I stayed more to the matte side on those. Moving on to the drawer above it. 
I thought I would finish this gloss, but I'm not quite done yet, so I'm going to keep that in. I had pulled these two lippies here. One is Not Another Peach from Lime Crime, and the other is the Pink Print from Nicki Minaj with MAC. They were nice. I did notice with the pink print, Nicki Minaj, it's a little bit pale for my skin tone. So I did mix it with this liner to deepen it up a little bit, Lolita from Kat Von D, and it worked out beautifully. I also have this glitter pop in from Too Faced, and it's a peel off liner. This is called Kitty Glitter. Very pretty, very sparkly, perfect on the lower lash line and we will put those away. I'm going to keep in all the liners that I was using. So next we'll talk about this Jackie Ina palette and it's gorgeous. I really loved it and now it's time to shop my stash. I've been thinking about pulling in this bronzer that's new to my collection from MAC and um, it's from their Electric Wonder collection. And this one's in the shade Sun Soaked Strip. And it's a matte bronzer with a little bit of a red undertone. And I'm looking forward to trying that. So I'll pull that in for this week. I'm going to pull in this Anastasia concealer in the shade 0.5 this week. And I also did pick up the Luminous Foundation from Anastasia. So I will definitely be pulling that in. And I'm kind of thinking as far as primers that I might want to pull in this Max Strobe Cream again. It works pretty well. And I do like it. And that's in the shade Pink Light, which I think is their original. So I'm going to focus on pulling some mini lippies this week from the collection. And um, let's see if we can just pick a few good ones here. So this one is from Bite. Let's see what shade it is. Ginger Snap. It's like a peachy color. And that would probably be a good option. So we'll pull that one in. We'll do one more bite. Okay, and that's in Verbena. And that's also a good option here. And a couple of MAC lippies. So this one is in the shade Whirl. And that's a brown based nude. And that will be lovely also let's see what do we have here this is happy looks like it's from laura mercier and it's got a metallic sheen so we'll pull that one in and let's see one more let's see what about this tom ford one here okay that's an indian rose and that's actually one of my favorite nudes so that'll be enough lippies for the week so I have a lot of meetings at work this week, and so I'm thinking I'm going to dip into my safer palettes with a lot more neutral options this week. So um, I'm kind of thinking about this Tarte Aspen Ovard palette in particular, which has really been kind of a trusty palette for me. And you can see I've hit a bit of pan in there, and it's um, one of my favorite palettes. And then I'll probably pull a couple of the Huda palettes. So I'm thinking about the Huda Beauty New Nude. And if you'll see that, I haven't even used it yet. So I'll pull that one in. So possibly this textured rose gold, which I have not used in quite a while, would be a good option to pull in. I'm going to pull in a face palette. Um, for this week, so I'm kind of thinking maybe this hourglass one here. And I think that might be the original. So that can come in. I like this highlighter palette. It's Bonk Disable from NARS. So that'll give me a good variety. And let's see, a blush palette would probably be good. So how about this one here from NARS? All right, I pulled in this Anastasia foundation here, and it's supposed to be luminous, so let's just get a little swatch here and see what we got going on here for a shade match. 
Yeah, look at that. It doesn't want to come out. I wonder. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, we got a little bit. And I pulled this concealer here. And it's a potted concealer. We'll give a little swatch of that. And that's in 05. And that looks like that'll be a good shade. And then I pulled in this pink light from MAC. Okay, that looks like that's going to work well together. What do you think about that? I think that's going to work out pretty well. And I can tell it does definitely look like it's going to have some luminosity, just like it said. So that's the kind of foundation that I like, and I'm looking forward to that. So we're just going to add those to the bottom drawer here. And I'm just wiping off the swatches right now. They'll fit perfectly here. And then we'll just move on to the next here. Um, this bronzer from MAC here is very pretty. And I just love this packaging. I believe that it might have a little bit of a redder undertone, which is, I think, very pretty for the summertime. Yep, there we go. A little bit of a red undertone there. And I'll just use it with the light hand, and it should work out really well. Let's see what else we have here. We'll pull this palette here from NARS. It's the Bonk Disable. And it's a highlighter trio. And they did have this out, limited edition. And I picked up like two of them because I really do like these highlighters. I have to mix these other two to make them work, but I in particular like this one here. So you can just kind of get a feel for the sheen there. Super pretty. Love it so much. And we will add that right to the of the organizer right there. Alright, next I pulled this blush palette from NARS and the shades are so pretty. So I'll just set this down and see if I can give you some swatches here. And it's a mix of mattes and shimmers. And there's two left here. And they looked like they were going to be ridiculously pigmented, but as you can see, they blend out pretty well. And they have a nice amount of pigmentation. So we'll add this up to the top also. And there you go. See that? And then we will move on to this Hourglass palette. And instead of having a bunch of singles in this week, I mostly went for the palette. And this is the Hourglass palette, and I think it's the original, but I could be wrong. And we'll get to swatch it on this one also. They have a couple of the finishing powders. If you can see that. There we go. And then there are a couple blushes and a bronzer. That blush looks nicely pigmented, so I'm looking forward to using that one also. And this will also go up here on the top. Just so you can see kind of what that's looking like so far. Then we will move on. I'm going to do these glitters that I pulled in from Stila and a couple of the Hourglass pots. And I did not show this on camera, but I did go back and pull these. So let's see. We have a couple of Stila glitters. I pulled Rose Gold Retro and Wonderlust. So here is a swatch of Rose Gold Retro. And I thought that would pair good with the Huda palette. And then this one is Wonderlust. It's got more like purpley pinky looking colors in the glitters. And let's see what those swatches turn out to look like. Oh, yeah. You see that? Oh, my gosh. They're just gorgeous. 
I love to tap these over any kind of eyeshadow, so I'm looking forward to trying those this week, and we'll add those right here at the top. And then I have these potted scattered whites from Hourglass, and this one right here is in the shade Aurora. And you'll see they provide like a very shiny finish, and I, I really love them. The sparkle in them is very finely milled. And this one is called Reflect. And this is probably my favorite of the Hourglasses. And there we go. That'll be enough glitter for the week. And I will add these up to the top here with those steely glitters. And then I did pull in five mini lippies for the week. And I, my mini lippies, they don't get a whole lot of love, so I'm really excited to pull them in. And I like the variety of colors here, so we'll start with this Laura Mercier. And that's a really pretty pink metallic, and it's in the shade Happy. And most of these smaller ones I got in different little sample boxes, or if I, um, you know, made a purchase that was gift with purchase. So this is Indian Rose from Tom Ford, and it's a mauve, and it's one of my favorites. I really do love that one a lot. I might even buy the full size one day, but I have heard that they go bad really quickly. What do you guys think about that? So here's Ginger Snap from Bite a pretty peach. Then we have Mac Whirl, which is really a classic, so can't resist that brown. And then Verbena from Bite. There we are. It's all the lippies for the week. I think that'll provide a nice variety. I'm looking forward to trying them out. Next we'll talk about this Tarte Aspen Ovard palette, and it's just a really beautiful collection of shades, and let's get you some swatches. You can see that I've got some pan and a couple of those shades there, and she has a blush and a highlighter in here also, and they're really pigmented, so I really did enjoy those quite a bit to, um, to use in the past, and I'm sure that I'll enjoy them again this week. That is the top three. And then we'll move to the middle row here. And that middle one of the middle row, it's like a chunky glitter. It's probably the one that I don't like the most. And that would be this one right here. It just doesn't lay nicely on the eyelid. So if you have any texture in your eyelids like me, you know, that one's kind of problematic. And here is the last row here. Just want to give you a peek of what that's looking like up top now in that new organizer. And then we'll come on back down and take a look at these Huda palettes here. So let's do the rose gold first. The textured eyeshadows. It's a very pretty palette. I did buy the remastered one also. They don't seem to be very different to me. You can kind of see. How pretty that is and let's get you some swatches and we'll just start with the top row here so this is the top four and that's not a very good swatch of that one here called Rose Gold. Let's try that one again. Yeah. Maybe it's just more oily. Or maybe these are just not good anymore. I've had this for a while. So this is the next two. Yeah, look at that. What do you guys think? I think this one is just not good anymore. I may have to evaluate that in use this week. 
And here's the next row. And those last two. And we'll go to the bottom row. Yeah, the mats feel a little dry. Maybe this one's not good anymore. I'll find out and report back next week. Okay, so that is swatches of all the shades. And I really used to like this one, but they don't quite feel the same. So we'll add this one up to the top. And since we have so many palettes, it's uh, getting a little full up there. All right, and here's a look at what our storage up top is kind of looking like right now. And then we'll move on to the Huda Beauty New Nude, and I have not used this yet. It's just so pretty. I just can't even believe how pretty it is. Okay, we'll start swatching right up here at the top. And I'm so intrigued by those metallics that have the marbling. Oh wow, those are gorgeous. And the mattes, they feel so much better than the other palette. It might be time to de declutter that other one there. And then we have two more shades in the top row. And there we are. Very beautiful. And that one that I swatched on the pinky there, that is a glitter. Looks like it's just a pressed glitter. So that's probably not going to swatch too well, but look how sparkly and pretty it is. And that one, wow, that one looks so pretty on there. And that's this one here. So the next two have a little bit of a different texture. You can see that that one's a glitter and that one looks like more of a normal shimmer. So there's two of the glitters side by side and that's the top and the middle rows. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay, that is a concealer in the first and I guess you would use that if you have a cut crease or something. It does feel like it's got a little bit of tackiness to it. So I imagine that would work well if you had a cut crease or something like that. And then the last two. Okay, and there's swatches of everything. And those are just absolutely gorgeous. Can't even believe it. So I'm going to add this up to the top here. And it looks like we're going to have to move that little NARS palette out of our way and move some of these forward a little bit to make it fit. Okay, and then we'll take a peek up there. Okay, that's what it's looking like there. This is uh, everything that we have left, and I'll focus you in. You'll see I've got this MAC Fix Plus here. It's almost gone, so we'll probably go into my sprays uh, next week and pull a new one. But this is everything for this week, and I really appreciate you joining me. I hope that you'll consider subscribing, and I hope you have a great week. See you next week.